These are going to be my most used accessories for the DJI Osmos Pocket 3. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt. This is Wire Creatives. And I just wanted to share with you my most used accessory that I've been using with the DJI Osmos Pocket 3. So the first thing that I would suggest for anyone picking this up is go ahead and pick up a set of ND filters. If you're filming outside, you're definitely going to need to use this. Now, these ones are ND Polarizer by Polar Pro. There are a lot of great brands out there. I just like using these. The next item is going to be this right here, which is on my Pocket 3. So this is a cage by Tilta. It's a Tilta accessory mounting expander. I call it a Tilta cage because that's what it basically is for me. And what this does is, even though it has that one quarter 20 in the bottom, now you have those quarter 20 on the sides along with that NATO rail. I specifically picked this up to capture POV and the reason that I like this is because I can choose the orientation that this little screen right here is facing. Most of the ones on the market right now, when you clip it onto yourself, it's facing outward. So it means you have to hook it up to your app or you have to preset it up or lean over to, to kind of make sure that everything's going in the direction you want. So what this does is allows me to get a small rig arm with this little black accessory, which is a female to female for the quarter 20. And then I use my Peak Designs capture clip. So now when I have this mounted to my shoulder strap, I have the screen facing me so I can make sure and just check periodically that everything is aimed in the direction that I want to. And then also like when you're making your first adjustments, you can just go down and dial it in. And then again, this is opposed to leaning over or taking your app and having to do it that way. I find this much easier than those other options. Now, staying with this small rig arm, it originally came with this. This is a clamp by small rig. And what this does simply allows you to attach it to different points. For me, that way I use this is I have this cage kind of going around my desk and I can go ahead and attach this here. Adjust the arm, I can attach it to my camera so that if I'm looking to film myself at different angles, I have that option there because all I have to do is release the clamp put it somewhere else and I have a different mounting option. Going back to this cage, say I want to shoot 4K vertically, but it only does 3K. So you can just turn it on your side. And here again, because of the cage there, I have that option to do that there. The last accessory I've been using is going to be this, another product by Small Rig. Again, I love their products. There are other options out there. I just prefer to use these ones is a suction cup with a small rig arm. Now what this does, it allows me to capture different angles while I'm driving, like I've done in previous videos. If you're interested in any of those, I'll leave a link here. So pointing out this tilt cage again, you know, I know you have the quarter 20 in the bottom, but say you just want to put it into the side for something that may be more stable, you can go ahead and screw it right into the side, stick this on the side of your vehicle to get some side shots, or maybe you want to get some 4K vertical footage, Say you stick this on the hood of your vehicle and now you're set up to do that. Hopefully you find this useful and maybe you found a few new accessories you'd like to pick up. Let's just do a quick recap. The first thing, a good set of neutral density filters. The next item is going to be the Tilta Accessory Mounting Expander or Tilta Gauge. I'm going to follow that up by the small Blu-ray clamp with their arm. And then if you don't have it, the Peak Designs Capture Clip with this little accessory mount so that you can do POV. And the last piece is gonna be a suction cup with the arm with it. Again, this is a small rig, just the one I like to go to. Hopefully you find this useful and there are a bunch of different alternatives out there. These are just the ones that I find very useful for myself. If you're looking for any of these specifically, I will leave my affiliate links below. There is no additional cost for you, but it does help fund the channel. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.